It's been five days since Hamas brazenly fired rockets at Jerusalem and other Israeli cities in a totally unprovoked attack. This past week, millions of Israelis were forced into bomb shelters as missiles rained down on our cities. Several Israelis have been killed. Many more have been wounded. You know, and I know, no country would tolerate this. Israel will not tolerate this. Israel has responded forcefully to these attacks, and we will continue to respond forcefully until the security of our people is reinstated and restored. I want to remind the world that in firing on our cities, Hamas is committing a double war crime. They are targeting our civilians and hiding behind Palestinian civilians, effectively using them as human shields. As always, Israel is doing everything possible to protect our civilians and keep Palestinian civilians out of harm's way. Defeating Hamas does not only serve Israel's interest, it serves the interests of all those who seek peace, stability, security in the Middle East. I want to thank Israel's many friends in the international community who have strongly backed Israel's action in defending ourselves. I want to thank the President of the United States, Joe Biden, and I want to thank the many countries, including European countries, that flew the Israeli flag in solidarity on their government buildings. You cannot equate a democracy that values life with a terror organization that glorifies death. I'm confident in the resolve and determination of the people of Israel. Just as we've always done, we will weather this storm and emerge stronger than ever.